Okay, this is a little demonstration video for the hand washing activity, which is in lab 1.1 in your textbook. Um, this is TSA media, tryptic soy auger. Tryptic soy auger has auger in it, which is a solidifying agent. So it's kind of like making uh, jello. Um, it comes in a powder form. And when you put it in the liquid, heat it up, sterilize it. And when it uh, comes to room temperature, the auger solidifies. Um, in contrast, this is tryptic soy broth. Okay, uh, these are the same, basically the same media, except the broth does not have the auger in it. Okay, so for lab 1.1, the hand washing activity, what you'll do is you, every student will use a TSA plate, and the first thing what you'll do is you'll draw a line right down the middle on the auger side. So the auger side has the actual auger in it, and the lid covers that auger. Label half of that plate pre-wash and half of that plate post-wash. And if I flip the plate over, my pre-wash is actually on the right-hand side. So what you'll do is simply open this up and you'll put your finger or thumb and just very carefully roll your finger around on that media. Don't press too hard or you'll smash that media. After that, you'll wash your hands and you will repeat that for the post wash side of the plate. So use that same same finger after you go to the hand washing station and, and uh, wash your hands. So I'll do that here in a little bit and I'll show you my results of that with yeah, that picture. So that's uh, all there is to that. Lab 1.1. Lab 1.2, which we will do as well, is an environmental sampling lab. And for that, you'll use a swab. Swab here. And what you'll do is you'll dip that swab into your broth. And you will swab a surface. I'm just going to quickly do the bottom of my shoe so you can see some dirt on the bottom of my shoe. And you'll use a new TSA plate, and you'll simply swab that around on that media. Now, when you're doing this, you want to be aseptic, meaning keeping these plates covered when you're not using them. Okay. Um, we will incubate those for 24 hours at 37 degrees, and then we'll analyze the results the second day. Also in that lab 1.2, it says to inoculate a broth tube. So you can use that same swab and simply put that back into that broth tube and just break the top of that swab off and put the cap back on. These will go in a special rack and we'll incubate those for 24 hours and we'll see what those results look like. Alright, just a quick demonstration video for those first few labs.